I went on a listing appointment a couple of weeks ago, and this was a larger house here in Morristown, probably over 5,000 square feet total. And the woman had went through a divorce. And as I walked into her house and I'm looking, I tell people, you don't have to get the house cleaned up. It doesn't have to be show ready when I'm coming over just to have a conversation with you about what your home is worth and the things you need to do to get your home ready to sell. I don't expect it to be spotless, right? But most of the time, people do at least pick up things. And when I walked through her house, I was saddened for her because as a realtor, we're kind of like a therapist as well. And she had been through a divorce a few years ago. And you could just see the depression and the struggle that she had lived with the past few years because even though this was a 5,000 square foot home, it was in rough shape as far as there's stuff piled up everywhere. It needed a good deep clean. There was a lot of clutter. And it kind of broke my heart for her because to me, I can understand wanting to sell that house because it holds too many memories from the past. But also walking into that clutter every day just perpetuates that cycle of depression. So we had a nice little conversation about what we're going to need to do to get the home show ready, get it ready for the photos. And I suggested to her, I know two or three people who can come in, help you get this organized and help you do a good deep clean. Because I know I wouldn't want to undertake trying to clean a 5,000 square foot house to get it ready for sale. So I don't expect anybody else to do that either. And she felt a sense of relief, I think, that she had taken that first step in, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to sell this house. But I just say that to tell people, don't let the things that overwhelm you stop you from moving forward. As I said, sometimes we have to play therapist with people, and I listened to her story, and I totally empathized with it. I think we all go through bouts of depression where if somebody walked into my house a few years ago, it would have been a complete disaster. Anytime you walked in, I didn't have company over because we all hit those places in our life. So if you are struggling with depression and you need somebody to talk to, please know you can always reach out to me and I'm sure you have a friend who would love to hear from you.